So is like is like the can like the the suburbs and then like the fountain is like you know the high class hotel and yeah. then you get it out of a bottle and that's like the white trash. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I would think the cans would actually be like the most white trash, but I don't know. It's so flavor wise. Oh. Flavor profile. You can mm -hmm. taste all the mm -hmm. all the sugar. Yeah. You can taste the acid. You can taste oh. that small hint of aluminum. So it's just the overall experience is what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. I do like drinking stuff out of a can. It is pretty great. Yeah, it tastes so good. Pepsi. <laughs> 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 it immediately that is be an ad. Like I'm just sitting here just watching you fucking <laughs> just like I, I pictured foam. <laughs> nothing but foam coming out of my mouth like if I had a cyanide pill. <laughs> uh, Pepsi. <laughs> even makes cyanide taste good. <laughs> I'm just in the background, just it gets quiet and just <laughs> you just hear the foam coming out of my mouth. We had that one ad that we came up with a long time ago. Oh, for um, <laughs> for Pepsi, <laughs> where I put my hand on your tummy and then you're just like, it's soft. <laughs> like I say, it's soft, and then you, <laughs> you're just like, I'm at your hand, <laughs> and then you just start vomiting Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I you remember about, that? <laughs> I forgot about that. I I remember that, and uh, what was the energy drink? But the energy drink one was just like. Like a like a, a static image of like you know a landscape of some kind, and then it was Tobin. And Tobin would just walk in from out of frame and then just be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that would be it pretty much. He said something. Yeah, he said a, a racial slur that we can't say. That's right. <laughs> We did the we did the TV version. It was he comes up and he says bitches, and then that's yeah, just, just <laughs> bitches, and then that's and it. Then <laughs> and then the logo fades into view, and that's it. I think you know. I feel like people could uh, get behind that. Is this <laughs> going to just be us fighting him constantly this whole time? Yeah. Like sure, he's flashy. He made the star David right there, but like, they're well, they're padding this. Padding this out, like I'm fucking tired of this shit. Like I just that guy's a Jew. <laughs> I mean, the Star David. He was in Transparent. <laughs> Either that, or he's a Satanist. No, he's a he was a rabbi. Doesn't know how to do six uh, six uh, say, say stars. See, he's doing it. <laughs> wow, he is fucking jacking me up, boy. Uh, speaking of Jews, have you been uh, watching that Wall Street? Uh, stock market. I've, thing? I've, I'm vaguely aware of it. We just Melissa and I watched a movie of, like kind of touching on that called The Big Short, and I didn't like it because it was just full of nothing but jargon, and I'm yeah. like, I don't fucking know anything about what the fuck is happening. But from what I get, it is like people are buying shares and selling them, and then buying them back at a lower price. And they're making money out of it that way. Yeah. So then, like that way, like the. Like the stockholder people have to pay more money out to get the shares back or something. Yeah, so I, I don't really understand it. Fully, the but, yeah. the easiest way that I've found is that uh, uh, you own you own a Beanie Baby. You know, you got the crab one, the lobster one. Yeah, and that lobster one is worth ten dollars. Yes. So. No, you say, you say, or I come up to you and I'm like, Taylor, I want to, I want to, I want to sell your Beanie Baby. I'm going to give you $10 for it. Okay. And I'll get you the money in a bit, okay? Okay. And you're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to get uh, good money and all that. And then I wait until that Beanie Baby's actually worth $7. Mm -hmm. 
and then, but I, I sold it immediately. Like I sold it to someone. I sold it to, to my brother. I'm like, hey Jerry, Taylor's got this lobster beanie baby. It's worth $10. We're, I'm gonna sell it to you. He, and you're like, okay. He's like, okay. And then later it's actually worth seven. So then when I buy it from you, I'll be like, hey Taylor, the Beanie Baby's actually only worth seven now. So I'm gonna buy it for $7. And then I'm gonna go and sell it over to my brother who I promised for $10. And now I got $10, I got $3. Yeah, I know, I know. So that, that's it. They, the, but the whole problem was is that what happened is I'm like, hey Taylor, or actually I'm like, hey Jimmy, I'm going to sell you 15 of these ba Beanie Babies for $10 each. And he's like, oh sweet, I love these things. I'm gonna make a whole bed out of them. And then I come back to you and be like, okay, so now I need 15 of them. And you're right. like, but I only have one. Uh -huh. So then you gotta shell out more money for yeah. that person. Yeah. I that's that's kind of basically it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. A little more complicated, obviously, with some more. The things. thing that the thing I just have a hard time with is that it's just also it's such an abstract thing because it's like when you buy like a share in a company, like you're not buying anything physical. It's nope. like like just literally a piece of the company. And I, th I don't know. I think that's where I get lost with it is like just like the concept of all these things that are just like, you know. All you have to do is think of it as if you were investing in the company rather right. than buying a piece of it. This is kind of funny. Was I you not were, supposed to hit anything? Yeah. It was like, you were going to let me hit you. Oh, is this thing going to fall off and be like, I gave you the power of all of us. I'm actually a crab. Yeah. And now I'm gonna shut down. That was all my power. Oh. Is that how he has to infuse the power into him? Is by fighting him? Probably. That's stupid. I'm a robot? Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? How did this happen? <laughs> yeah. How do you like me now? I don't. Because you're <laughs> dead. <laughs> so he's... He dead now. Yeah. He, uh... His eyes are black. Black as the night. But yeah, so the main thing is that, uh... People saw that they were shorting the stock by, like, an exorbitant amount of them. Uh huh. Because there's only a hundred of them, but they're they were saying that they were going to be able to buy like 150, and so they put so much money into it because they were expecting it to go down. <coughs> so when everyone jumped in and started buying shares and stuff, it made it more valuable. So now they owe billions of dollars, and <coughs> the main problem now <coughs> is that. The Wall Street people are changing the rules. Yeah, because they're the ones who lost out on it. Yeah. Well, that's the bullshit thing. Is like those people have fucking done shit too. Like, it happened with the housing crisis. Yeah. Like it's exactly like what the big shorts about is like the housing crisis in America. Yeah. It's like people did the exact same fucking thing. Like so now when uh, like when the public does it, it's now illegal, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's bullshit. Because the the whole thing that happened is that. Oh, fist bump. It's gonna shatter. Yep. The whole thing now is that, like, you can't buy any more shares to make the price go up anymore. Well, yeah, like certain apps. You can only price. sell. Yeah. And it's like, uh, but it's my stuff. It's my money. Yeah. Why can't I, you know, spend more of it and all that kind of stuff? Oh, and then there's dumb. a whole bunch of corruption stuff that's going on in the background, like... When, right before they made it so you couldn't buy any shares or anything, they uh, they found out that like a hedge fund bought even more shares at that price, because if no one can buy, only people can sell, the sh the price is going to go down. Mm -hmm. So they did it again, 
and you know shorted the the stock so once everyone started selling they could make all the money back mm -hmm. that they had were just oh. losing at the oh. the previous ah. one and then people caught it again and just won't sell <laughs> So now... It's like PS5 scalpers. Yeah. Ugh. So people won't sell Ugh. and all that. And Ugh. now... 12,000 years earlier. There's been a couple of people who... Like, uh, they forced them to sell. So that the market would move down. Yeah. Since no one wanted to sell, they... Like, one person's like... Because the stock was $400. Mm-hmm. And then the stock started to drop a little bit because some people were selling. And then, like, it hit $100 or something. And people who had, like, an exorbitant amount of shares. Like, one guy had 4500 He got a letter from Robinhood saying that we sold all of your shares um, at this $100 price. Instead of letting you keep on to them, yeah, we right. forced you to sell. It's like, but that's my money. Like, I, I should be able to do, but it's in their terms of service that, yes, that's, they can do it. That's dumb. So, just because people, yeah. f like, found out how to game the system now, all of a sudden, it's like everybody's got to try and, like, you know, I don't know, have control over shit that was never an issue before. Yeah. Only certain parties can do it, but not anybody. <clears throat> so now it's become, like, a whole class warfare thing. Yeah, it's stupid. About all these poor people <laughs> who have their own money because of stimulus and all that kind of stuff put it in and now they're being forced to you know forced to do things that they don't want to do with their money 2021 is bringing its own set of bullshit huh is this finger really big or is the baby just really small both What if she hits herself in the head and makes her cry? What the fuck? Yeah, he just stomps on her. You know he's probably a rage in bed. Like, probably fucking, like, his cock is. How do robots just have sex? Slam in. USB. Yeah, does, does he have, like, a DVD? It's like a little bit. <laughs> you know, have you ever seen Avatar where they, like, touch tails? Yeah, right. And then they, like, entwine. It's like that, except for she's got a USB plug. And he's got a <laughs> fucking cable that comes out and it's like, yeah, he, he pulls like out his pants. big cable. He pulls out his pants, it's just a tiny little thin wire and it just comes out. <laughs> and she's like, oh my, it's so long. <laughs> it's so long and spindly. <laughs> it's all knotted up. Like it's fucking like, you know. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> oh, you're tugging on it. You're tugging. Oh, the, the wires might rip. Hold don't use your team. <laughs> like, they still do all the normal sex things with it. <laughs> oh, sorry. This Just... is a low-speed connection. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's just wrapping around her tongue. <laughs> and then she 3D prints the baby in her uh, second uh, 3D printer. And that's how they make... <laughs> <laughs> they, that's how they make babies. Women have secondary 3D printers. Yeah, one that's in their ass and one in their <laughs> <laughs> That one specifically, like a higher grade one, is for making, uh, you know, it, <laughs> looking like children, and then it allows for them to keep on adding on to them until they're full grown. <laughs> While the other one just prints 3D poops. Oh, dude, I love the eyeshadow. It's great, man. <laughs> yeah. Real, uh,. Real fucking looks like, like Naruto ass. Fu <laughs> looks like a fucking metal band guy. <laughs> hey, we're from Sweden. We listen to dance. I've been, listen I've been checking out this band. Like, I don't actually like the music, but like the the it's one of those things where you look up a band like just because of how interesting it is. Like, even though you don't like the music, you know? Have you ever been into that type of thing? Yeah, where it's just like... Well, I, I wouldn't say I hate the music or anything. It's just I find the person connected to it interesting right well there's this group i found or i've discovered called portal and they're from they're from australia okay and like their whole thing is like it's more of like an aesthetic thing because like the guys all wear like these masks and shit you know kind of like you know like you've seen bands that do that type of shit before but like the main the like the singer guy has a different outfit for every album that they do 
and then the other guys in the band kind of all have like these they look like executioners and like the one dude's got a noose around his neck and like they play like I don't even know what you describe it as but like a form of death metal but it's just fucking nonsense the whole time and then like you know the dude the and then and then the dude's like doing like these really raspy vocals and like uh, you know I've looked up the lyrics and it is what he's saying but <laughs> It's all nonsense. Like, it's all about, like, being, like, you know, they're trying to encapsulate, like, this dark atmosphere. And it's like, they do a good job at that. But, like, who the fuck would listen to that music, like, all the time? Yeah. Like, it's just nonsense, dude. Like, you know, and I've listened to, it like, a couple other songs a, a few times, and it's like, there is structure to it. But, like, it's so hard to discern anything out of it. Like, that, it's one of those types of groups. Like, who the, f- like, fuck sits down and writes this shit and thinks that sounds good, you know? But it's like, I appreciate it for like from like an artistic perspective of like you know somebody's gonna do that shit right so I don't know, but like the whole deal is like yeah they're supposed to be like the most evil dark darkest band ever type of thing you know, oh well, am I going huge now? Yeah, cause now you got the power of all the other ones. Sweet. So now you're like that big fat My guy. My tits are huge. And his USB cable dick is still just kind of... <laughs> still normal size. Just dangling there, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this Portal band, they, like, they're the one outfit that the lead singer has, he's got, the, like, these tentacle fingers, you know, and... Ooh! Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. I'm fucking you! <laughs> <laughs> now I get to be a deity. Hey, that's not fair. I'm bigger yes, than the planet. Is. Like, why, why save this one dumb planet? Because it's Earth. Is it actually Earth? I mean, that that's pretty. That that's like pretty a, Africa. That, that looked like Africa, yeah, but. Uh. What if that was Gosh? I'd be like, sweet, dude. <laughs> Just every once in a while, we see. Like a shadow of a person up me, in the sky. Give me something to believe in, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like people would really uh, actually believe in the gosh. I would. Hey, you give me proof. I believe in it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they all looking at him like, you go get him, dude. Even though we're we all ki- even free. Though we, even though we all killed him. Yeah. We killed all of them. Because <laughs> we're free now. Now we gotta go beat up our daughter. Why is Durga looking happily? Like, the one dude fucking admitted to killing her. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? Is there at peace, man? So or... fucking what? That's weird. Like, you're just cool with your murderer, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> is this Star Fox, dude? Yeah. I, wanna do, yeah. I wanna do a long Star Fox level, you know? I wanna play Star Fox 64 again. Yeah, let's just play that. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> they should remaster Star Fox 64. We should play that game on here, actually. That's a great game. That's yeah. one of my favorite games of all time, dude. It's probably harder than I remember. I, oh, yeah, probably. I don't remember much about, like, you know. I just remember, you know, for the longest time, always having oh, the same path dude. because I didn't realize yeah, you could I, save Falco that first time. Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta go fight Uncle Andros, guy. We, we should totally play that on here, though. I love that game. You know, you know what's funny to me is, like, Looking back at like my favorite, some of my is he throwing planets at me? Yes, is that yes, what's you were destroying happen? planets? <laughs> that's, what's fucking happening. Okay. that's why there's only seven planets in the in the oh fucking uh, near God. near Milky Way. He's throwing like ga- he's got galaxies around him. Look at it. Yeah, that's how big these motherfuckers are, Taylor. Okay, this is. I didn't think we'd be reaching this level. Yeah, I did not. Like I think. thought. Before when the guys just like, <laughs> yeah, like that's like the most like that was the uh, biggest we were gonna get. Yeah, nope. But no, not. now we're we're destroying now we're giant literally, planets. But so what about all these planets? Are these just are these just like dead planets or something? Oh, uh, maybe. Or probably moon, or moons. Maybe. Maybe they're moons. Anyway, I'm gonna punch I was, I was just gonna say that like there was there's um. Uh, like, I, I've kind of run through it in my head, like, several times. Like, you know, just, like, what my favorite games are of all time. And I'm surprised at how many, like, Nintendo games that I would pick. 
Because I do not give a shit about Nintendo now. Yeah. I just don't care. But Nintendo was good back in the day. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, they're still good now. It's just, I guess you got to be part of the right audience, maybe. I don't know. Like, they do some cool shit. Like, I remember when I borrowed the Switch from um, Mitch. Like, it's a great console. It's just that it doesn't have any good games for it. Or, like, games that I'm interested in, I mean, I should say. Yeah. The thing is... I don't care that much about Mario. I don't either. I don't care that much about Zelda. I don't either. Like what else Star, did they do? Star Fox That's and like Metro would be the only ones I'm really interested in. I love them for them. I like Mario Kart. I Mario think Kart they're throwing was, suns at you now. Yeah. <laughs> Mario Kart was my favorite game that I borrowed from Mitch. Like that was the only one I really liked. You see, I haven't liked too much of them. I, I'm not into racing games, even the yeah. Mario Kart ones that That's much. That's fair. That's fair. But I mean, that but that are like you know I'd be there's a black hole there. Serious. That or like, um, if they did a new F Zero, I'd be cool with that too. But they haven't done one since like 2004. They're making Perfect Dark. I, I remember playing Perfect Dark on the 64. Well, that was Rare that did that. Yeah. Well, Rare is always a good. Rare is owned by Microsoft now, so if they did it, it'd be for Xbox. I still like Rare. Or PC. Because uh, they made Sea of Thieves. And, uh, sure, there wasn't much to do at the start of the, when it came out, but now there's a shit ton to do. But no one plays it with me. No. So I had to do it all by myself. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of games that I would put on my, like, all-time favorite, you know, games of all time type thing. And a lot of them, a fair amount of them would be, uh, would be Nintendo games. A lot of mine are, like... Early computer games, a lot of Blizzard. Yeah. yeah. Um, some Nintendo. Mainly, most of them are gonna be early Nintendo. Yeah. Oh, they had some good shit, man. Yeah, like, you know, Ocarina of Time. I'm not like um, I, th I think the Zelda games are cool. I just think they're kind of overrated, like over time. I just don't. I just don't know if they deserve as much credit as they get. Yeah. Because they've done the same fucking thing for, like, you know, a long time. That's why my favorite's still linked to the past. That, that one... I like Wind Waker. Like, Wind Waker's Wind Waker was favorite. fun, too. Wind yeah, it's fun just, I didn't play Wind Waker, like, really. Yeah. So, that's where I was uh, losing my religion with... Uh, <laughs> yeah. With them, so Link to the Past is pretty good, though. That's yeah, Link to the Past is the one that I played all the way through multiple times. I never finished that. Uh, one. Thief Two is still my favorite game of all time, but I love stealth. Yeah. Uh, that's how I play most games now. Is uh, yeah, stealth? Course. Stealth is uh, the th main difference between. Uh, oh, dude, give me the burst already. I'm about to fucking die over there. There it is. There we go. <laughs> the main difference between now stealth and. Back in the day, stealth is I wouldn't actually kill people because in Thief, you're not a murderer, you're a thief. Uh -huh. Why would you kill people? Ouch! Nowadays, like in Cyber Crunk, I'm just walking around. I'm trying to talk to everyone, not kill everyone. But then, like, I misstep and I'm like, well, oh well. here comes the sniper rifle. That's, yeah, I've gotten to that point with certain stealth games too. I'm like, whatever, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> or sometimes. If I'm feeling froggy, I take the baseball bat out. Oh, Beat yeah. the fuck out of people. <laughs> That's my two ways. Well, next time on Shinstar Cast, we get froggy.